Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I want to talk about the body types. I want to talk about how to differentiate certain body types. I want to talk about the cause, the underlying cause, and some important tips on each body type. So let's get right into the first. Number one is the adrenal body type. As you can see, there's a sagging belly. Now, that belly is fat coming from a hormone called cortisol. It is not necessarily diet related. It is stress related. And that's why when you go on a diet, sometimes it doesn't work until you deal with the stress part of it. And there are techniques to pull stress out of the body, but I just wanted to point that out. Adrenal cases have problems sleeping. Uh, they have problems with a lot of issues with stress responses, uh, feeling calm, um, memory issues, craving for salts and chocolate. Uh, the list goes on and on and on, but they mainly have the sagging belly. And if you were to recommend important things, the most important thing is reducing stress and getting sleep. As far as dietarily, they would need to not go on a low protein diet. Why? Because the body is breaking down more protein. Instead, they should eat a little more protein with each meal, and they should also have enough vegetables to give them the potassium they need because they are, uh, if it's uh, lots of stress, they'll be depleting the potassium reserve and they need that potassium, okay, just to get the adrenals recharged. So those are some couple, couple things with the adrenal. Now, and number two, we have the thyroid body type. Now, if you look at that type, you can see that the weight is all over, not in any one location. They're just big everywhere. But the thing you need to know is that if you're diagnosed with a thyroid problem and the doctor says you have a thyroid problem and we just need to give you thyroid hormones and many times you don't feel any change or lose the weight then that is a secondary problem not a primary problem because again if if someone diagnoses you with a problem and they give you that thing it should solve the problem so if it's a secondary problem you never get better so what happens what's the primary thyroid um, a primary thyroid condition would usually come from too much estrogen, from having heavy periods, or from the environment. It could also come from a lack of digestive uh, gallbladder release. So if your liver is not doing well and you don't have enough bile, B-I-L-E, that's a digestive juice that comes from the liver, then you can't convert T4 to T3. So you can't have those converting, activating hormones. In other words, 80% of that thyroid um, is controlled by the conversion from T4 to T3 through the liver and gallbladder. If there's a problem there, you won't get the conversion, and then you don't fix that problem, you never fix the thyroid. So we got a high estrogen issue. Secondly, we have a conversion issue from the liver and gallbladder. And thirdly, we could have a stress uh, adrenal issue, which is right up number one, so bad to the point where, let's say you develop an autoimmune problem. That would be either Hashimoto's or Graves. Again, these are just things to ask your doctor and talk about because a lot of times they don't look beyond the actual hormone issue. So thyroid issues can even come from the adrenal because most all autoimmune cases uh, are stemmed from and caused from an adrenal, and that's why the treatment for all of them are adrenal hormones, cortisol, prednisone. That's what they use in autoimmune. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory. Um, it also is intimately involved with your immune system. So anyway, I'm just giving you tips on what could cause potential thyroid issues. It could be a primary thyroid, but typically there's something that caused that. So we want to look deeper. People just don't one day end up with a thyroid issue. It's triggered by something. Okay, now what foods should they eat? if it's a thyroid. It really depends on what caused it. If it's more of a gallbladder issue, they should eat foods that support the liver. If it's a more estrogen issue, they should eat foods to support balancing estrogen. So it really depends on, again, the source of it. Now, number three, this body type down here is the liver. This is mainly seen in men. It's a protruding belly. It's a pot belly, but it can also happen in women as well. Um, these cases uh, do not want to consume alcohol and wine before they go to bed every night because that alcohol destroys the liver. They also do not do not do well on heavy protein. So you, they do well being a vegetarian. 
um, with some small amount of protein, but they need to increase their vegetables because that is the food that helps the liver. But again, um, we want to find out the source of where that's coming from. So instead of treating a liver, let's just look at the eating and get the eating straightened out and support it that way. Okay, the next body type would be number four, the ovary type. The ovary type holds weight more in the hips and a little pooch below the belly button. Um, that type is more of an estrogen dominant case and those cases need to support estrogen balance. Well, what would that be? Well, cruciferous vegetables are the key food to help balance estrogen. And also in their food, they wanna make sure that they're not consuming um, just commercial uh, food that has hormones in it. They want hormone free type foods, especially dairy and meats. And uh, those are just some general tips on supporting your body type. I hope this helped you differentiate. There's a lot of videos I have that go into each individual body type, but I wanted to kind of show you all of them in one short video. I'll see you in the next video.